Hello and welcome to the Arlington Weekly News. I'm Daniel Pineda. And I'm Adele Quo. Rich Musabney. Today we have a great news program for you. We have our news items. Um, it's, it's easy, easy being, being green. green. You forgot the pew there. And our CVV stories. We also have Rich Musabney and his reviews, news for Thank seniors, you. and we have a two-part interview with Miriam Gennari and her guest, Cody Farrow. And that part one airs tonight. Yes, Part it does. two next week. On sustainable hair care. Yes. Oh, uh, and Arlington Weekly News is available at www.youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News 1 and on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Arlington Weekly News. And for our first story, two men were found dead in Arlington on the morning of Tuesday. That's August the 7th. These uh, two men are uh, Keefe Spriggs, 59, of Arlington, Virginia, and Carl Moten, 31, who has no fixed address. Their bodies were found in the living room of an apartment in the 1900 block of North Culpeper Street. A maintenance worker found the body shortly after 10 a.m. He'd gone to check on the men after getting a phone call from a family member of the deceased. Police are calling the deaths suspicious, and anyone with information should call 703-228-4197. We have uh, charges of homicide. I mean, charges are expected to be brought forward on a 52-year-old DC man for his role in a recent jewelry store homicide in Arlington County. Wednesday afternoon, the Arlington County Police Department arrested James Sylvester Carolyn, 52, of Washington, D.C., for a probation violation. He is currently being held without bond in the Arlington County Detention Facility. Additional charges are expected to be brought forward on Caroline in relation to the July 27, 2012 jewelry store death of 52-year-old Tommy Wong. The FBI and Metropolitan Police Department want to thank the community for their support by providing numerous tips over the past several days. Back to you. Well, hopefully some of you will visit the Arlington County Fair this weekend where you can meet Arlington Independent Media members and staff, including some of us from Arlington Weekly News. Yes. I know you will be there, right? Absolutely. Saturday, 2 to 6. Yes, outside events at Arlington County's Fair will begin on Wednesday. That's August the 8th. Uh, inside exhibits will begin on Friday, August the 10th at 4 o'clock p.m. The fair will run through Sunday, August the 12th. For more information on Arlington's fair, visit arlingtoncountyfair.us. And swine flu. Speaking of fairs, if you are planning on eating at the fair, health officials in the Washington region are cautioning people at high risk for the flu to avoid exposure to pigs. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recently reported some new cases of swine flu. All of the cases reported were linked to people who attended agricultural fairs or exhibited pigs at the events. No cases have been reported in Maryland, Virginia, or the District of Columbia, but August is a traditional time for the region's county fairs. People with increased risk of contacting the flu, including children, the elderly, pregnant women, and those with weak immune systems. In 2009, swine flu led to thousands of deaths in the United States. Well, a new rideshare program is coming to Arlington. ZimRide, named for co-founder Nick Zimmer, will connect long-distance carpoolers through Facebook. ZimRide has just launched its digital ride-sharing operation in the D.C. area, and one company spokesman described the ZimRide concept as non-creepy hitchhiking and the long-distance version of slogging. Uh, it lets drivers and potential carpoolers match up by uh, listing destinations and preferences regarding smoking, music, and other personal details. Arlington residents looking for rides to New York can pay for an average of $50 for a round trip. Thanks, Daniel. There's going to be developers of a new office building in Boston have added a historical marker to commemorate the old Bob Peck Chevrolet dealership. The car dealership was a neighborhood landmark in that area for decades, but was demolished in 2008. Alexandria-based Bowman Consulting, a landscape architecture firm, designed the 10-story building located at 800 North Glebe Road. Their design added a diamond-shaped facade to the front of the building so that it would resemble the dealership's iconic Guji architecture. 
And we have such a, a great uh, s next segment, right? It's Easy, Easy Being Green. Green. Take it away, Adele. Thanks, Daniel. My name's Adele Quo, and it's Easy Being Green with Leaf Snap, which is a landscape designer's dream. Almost always, landscape designers get asked by clients, what kind of tree is this? Garden owners want to know how to plant, prune, and water the trees in their garden. And the answer to all these questions lie in correctly identifying the type of tree they're working with. Back in the paper age, to identify an unfamiliar tree, you would need to pull out your field guide book. And after jumping from page to page, spending time while trying to determine the nuances between trees that are similar, you may finally locate that tree you're looking for. But if you're in the New York or Washington DC metropolitan area, that day is over. If you have an iPhone or iPad, LeafSnap is possibly the most groundbreaking app that's ever been released for gardening enthusiasts. And it's free. Free. Yes, free, yeah. free. Unfortunately, Android, Android users will have to wait. Leaf snap, snap works by just snapping a photo of a leaf against a white background, kind of like a notepad. Leaf Snap will use image recognition technology to find the closest match among its database of select trees in New York and Washington, D.C. For casual tree browsers, after snapping a picture of a leaf, Leaf Snap will also allow you to look up countless high-resolution photos of the leaves, flowers, fruit, seeds, bark, and a brief description of the trees currently in the system. According to John Cress, research botanist and curator at the Smithsonian, LeafSnap was originally developed by researchers at Columbia University, yeah. University of Maryland, and the Smithsonian as a specialized aid for scientists and plant explorers looking for new species in poorly known habitats. But now the Smithsonian's research is available as a free app to the public so anyone can learn about plant diversity in their own backyards, in parks, and in natural areas. This tool is especially important for the environment because learning about nature is the first step in conserving it. There are big plans for taking LeafSnap national. At the moment, citizen scientists are invited to submit leaf images, which then get geotagged and added to a collection on the leafsnap.com website. So hop on over, download this free app at www.leafsnap.com slash species so that you can check out the list of tree species currently identifiable. Remember, it's easy being green with LeafSnap. Adele, such an interesting application. And, and so you said that it's for the iPhone and iPad, but yes. uh, soon to be in the Android. I've tried it and it is absolutely amazingly fast. Interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you for that story. Well, thank you. And now on to our community bulletin board for this week. The Arlington nonprofit Our Task will host an intergenerational conference on environmental and global development issues. It will be on Saturday, that's August the 11th, at the Arlington Central Library. The conference is aimed at local high school and college students who want to share ideas, discuss what the world will look like in tw uh, 2000, uh, 21, uh, 2100, right? 2100, And wow. uh, propose solutions for some of the major issues we face today, such as uh, deforestation, greenhouse gas emissions, and uh, population increase. Well, we now have the CBB school information. So speaking of kids, Friday, August 17th will be the last day of high school, summer school. Daniel? Well, if you have an artistic eye and a phone with a camera, then you may be interested in the Steve Jobs Memorial, juried cell phone photo show. The submission deadline is August the 20th, and the Arlington Public Library is seeking submissions of cell phone photos. Photos taken using special effects apps such as uh, Instagram or Color Splash are welcome. Entry is open to any local artists who, if selected, are able to hand deliver, pick up, their printed and framed work to Arlington Central Library. Visit the library website to learn about application details. So another cool application that, uh, that you can go and see. Well, we now have Rich Mersomni and his reviews. Thank Take you, my dear lady. Thank you, people. Hi, Rich. You guys know the Keegan Theater downtown uh, uh, around DuPont Circle on Church Street? Well, they, they got a, they've been around for about 20 years, and they've got a show called uh, August Osage County. It's big cast, three and a half hours of, of intrigue, of, of dysfunctional family stuff. Uh, 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 a mother who's 
popping pills and uh, there's three sisters involved. It's, it's heavy duty stuff, uh, but it's uh, terrific. It's directed by its artistic director, Mark Ray, and uh, his wife, Susan, is in this thing. And she's one of the daughters, the uh, oldest daughter of the three. And uh, it, it just wonderful, wonderful interaction, fighting up. Anyway, it's like old home week, you know. Uh, at the Keegan Theater, the phone number is 703-892-0202. Or look them up, keegantheater.com. And uh, hell of a show. Another interesting show, uh, through August 26th at the Alney Theater Center in Alney, Maryland, of course, is a very popular musical, Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, this is a fun show, even though it's about a plant that has an unusual food craving. Uh, can you figure that one out? However, even though the plant is the center of attention, it takes nothing away from the two leads. Uh, set in a sleazy part of town, in a flower shop are Seymour, played by James Gardner, and Audrey, Carolyn Egan, uh, who are smitten over each other. Uh, Mr. Munchkin, uh, played by Ethan Watermeyer, uh, he's the shop proprietor. Very popular Bobby Smith plays several roles in this uh, musical. There's lovely singers, too, who greatly add to the show. Uh, Cara Tamiko Watkins, uh, Shami Tab, and Leanne Freeman. Uh, they, they're like a musical chorus. They're wonderful. A real showstopper was Egan singing with Gardner, the version suddenly Seymour when they realize they love each other so much. Very nice. The gal has pipes, too. And speaking of pipes, Stephen, uh, 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 Stephon Stevens uh, was menacingly delightful as the man-eating plant. A Little Shop of Horrors was directed by Mark uh, Waldrop. For more information, call 301-924. Uh, it's on the screen, 3400, and check the web at Alney Theater with an RE, dot org. Uh, good show, good place. Um, well, one of my favorite places, and yours too, I'm sure, is, uh, is Wolf Trap. Uh, uh, I, I just want to mention about, I recently saw The Temptations and The Four Tops there together. I don't miss them because, you know, I'm, they were my days. Still remember the words to a lot of their songs from the 50s and 60s, tell you the truth. And checking for upcoming shows in August, I realize they have a lot of uh, good shows coming up. Um, here's some of them. ABBA on August 12th, you know, the concert ABBA. Uh, on August 16th and 17th, the irrepressible Barry Manilow. And on August 23, uh, Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. God. We grew up together, Frankie and I. There's much more. So check uh, the website at wolftrap.org or call 1-877-WOLFTRAP. Uh, and then, you know, after the season ends, it gets cool, the barns opens up uh, and they got indoor concerts. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, okay, I'm crazy about this product. And this is why I'm telling you about it. When's the last time you had me talk about uh, uh, spaghetti sauces? As a restaurant fruit critic for over 25 years and being a kid from Brooklyn, I've never been a fan of bottled uh, tomato sauces until now. Uh, you see, everyone in Brooklyn knows about Italian sauces. That's just something. It's a hereditary thing. So you can imagine my hesitation even to trying a brand called Victoria. I didn't know it. Uh, it's new to me, but they've been around since 1929. And get this, they're located in Brooklyn. What more do you want? Not only do they have a wide assortment of sauces, but peppers, olives, and more. You got to go to their website. I really mean this now, victoriafinefoods.com. I've tasted several of the sauces, and they're exceptional. And reading the label, I discovered this secret. Victoria imports tomatoes from Italy. And if you look at other bottled uh, tomato sauces, you know, you look on the back of the ingredients, right. they'll have water, tomato paste leading off, tomato paste. These got the real McCoy. I, I call them up in New York and I talk to them. Uh, my uh, favorite so far are the crumbled sausage, uh, bolognese, and the meatballs. Uh, and for our vegetarian friends, they got you covered with the Victorian Vega vegan brands. Uh, you can also actually taste the garden fresh vegetables. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Uh, their veggie marinara sauce by, um, is just, uh, by Victoria is wonderful. I mean, you can taste everything just out of the garden. Uh, I'll be talking more about Victoria pasta sauces and their other products in the future. For more information, call their Brooklyn plant if you want. Uh, 
Heck, I got their number, 1718-927-3000. And again, but check that website. It's victoriafinefoods.com. And you can pu purchase this stuff uh, at Giants and uh, uh, Costco, Safeway. Um, you know, look on the website. I'll tell you. So that is it, my people. So Costco and Safeway, but not here on our desk. So we oh, can't enjoy the. Oh, you want me to make you spaghetti here? Why not? Fresh taste of Italy. Well, maybe I will. <laughs> okay. Maybe be nice boy. I might do that. Well, thank you so much for those reviews. Okay. Thank you. I'll bring you in a jar with three spoons. You know, we can <laughs> taste it. Sounds good. Well, now let's go on to our seniors uh, uh, news for seniors section this week. People's nutritional needs change as they age, and you can learn how to choose the right foods, vitamins, and other supplements at two upcoming events. Katie Strong from the Virginia Cooperative Extension Office will give free, that's free seminars, on Tuesday, August the 14th at 7 p.m. at Walter Reed Senior Center. Call Walter Reed at 703-228-0955 to register and if you need any more information. It will also be on Monday, August the 20th at 1.30 p.m. at the Aurora Hill Senior Center where you can call 703-228-5722. If you are newly eligible for Medicare or a caregiver for someone with Medicare, they, you will find this upcoming pro program useful. Cedar Dvorin and John Gawaki from the Virginia Insurance Counseling and Assistance Program, also known as VCAP, will present a free program on the ABCs of Medicare coverage. The program is being held on Wednesday, August 15th at 2 p.m. The meeting is being held at the Department of Human Services, Sequoia Plaza, 2100 Washington Boulevard. The VCAP representatives say this meeting is especially helpful for people newly eligible for Medicare and or for caregivers. For more information and to register, call 703-228-1700. Yeah. And Miriam, uh, sorry, Adele, if you're tired of retirement and are thinking about starting a new career, Howard uh, Feldstein from the Arlington County Employment Center can be of major help. Feldman will discuss the process of job hunting, how to search out employment opportunities, how to write a resume, and more. This program is held Thursday, August the 16th at 1 p.m at the Walter Reed Senior Center. For more information and to register, give them a call at 703-228-0955. AARP's popular two-day safe driver course for seniors is coming up. This class could help you save money on insurance premiums. It reviews current road rules, defensive driving techniques, and more. It will be held on two consecutive Saturdays, August 18th and 25th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Culpeper Garden Senior Center. Taking this class could result in saving money on insurance premiums. It reviews the current rules of the road, defensive driving techniques, and more. The cost is $12 for AARP members and $14 for everyone else over the age of 50. Call 703-228-4403 to register. This is a great story. Well, there's just two more weeks to register for the Northern Virginia Senior Olympics. The registration deadline is, and mark your calendar, September the 1st. Over 40 events will take place at 18 different venues throughout Northern Virginia. Arlington will host several events, including opening day ceremonies on Saturday, September the 15th at the Thomas Jefferson Community Center. For more information, well, just give them a call. 703-228-4721. And of course, we want to thank our own Judy Masovny. Yes, thank you, um, Judy Masovny, for <laughs> the, of the Office of Senior Adult Programs for bringing us all of this information tonight. And she does such a great uh, work. Now we're going to go to our own Miriam, who has uh, a two-part series and her guest with her guest, Cody Farrow. Miriam, take it away. Oh my goodness, Cody is cutting out what we called compost. You cannot donate this hair. It is all split ends. <laughs> the only thing you could do is clean up an oil spill, right, Cody? Right. And, and I might also say that the reason that Cody is so um, articulate about these subjects is because he did attend H.B. Woodlawn. <laughs> and, you know, I am just so impressed with that school and with the number of students who are concerned about the environment and figuring out ways to help it. Uh, really, Cody, your parents must be proud. I, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, now, um, when this is all said and done, 
um, I hope that we're, what we're going to end up with is a, a hairdo that I can get up in the morning and I can, um, you know, take a quick shower and I don't shower every day. I need to say that on the air. I do not shower every day. I like hair that can last a couple of days, mm -hmm. but I want to be able to run out the door, get my child where she needs to be, or at least um, fulfill my commitment to the family and then get to work and look good. And it, it's not always about looking good, but you know what? I don't want to worry about looking terrible. Exactly. And there are a lot of people like you and really? starting with a, yes. <laughs> A lot of people that are unhappy with the way their hair looks on a daily basis. And so it's about, it's not about kind of spending endless hours turning your bathroom into a sauna, but it's knowing, okay, quick, easy things I can do, especially in the summer and especially in this humidity. Oh yeah, the winter so. is much better on my hair. But you know what? We are a climate controlled society. We can't seem to move freely from one place to the other. Think about the bride. I mean the bride on her wedding day, everything depends on the weather. Mm -hmm. And you know, if she has to worry about that and, and you know, getting a straightening iron out or, you know, God help us when we lose power. I want to look good when there's no power. Right. <laughs> Right. So you actually have really beautiful textured hair, but it's about taking care of it properly. And there's hope for it. Ah, uh, I am a little unkept. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, um, Cody, at your salon, your salon is the studio salon, and, salon spa. and spa in Shirlington. Mm -hmm. My daughters love your place, love what you did to Brianna's hair for prom. Oh, thank you. Oh. And that was very sustainable in itself, too. Tell me. It was an updo like that. That's a really easy way to do your hair without having to use power. Right, an updo really quick pins and mm -hmm. yeah that's great what about um like a i mean i can braid my hair and mm -hmm. in, in a pinch i like that but it does get kind of moppy mm -hmm. um so i think the kind of products that i put in it sometimes would would really make a difference mm -hmm. tell me about the product you're using in my hair. so what i've chosen to use for you is something that's based oil based um, to help kind of act like a raincoat for your hair in this humidity okay. and something like that works wonderfully but for really frizzy hair like this not rinsing quite all of your conditioner out in the morning is huge and that saves time in the shower saves water indeed but what about me who doesn't wash my hair every day so kind of wetting it down in between adding a little bit more a spray bottle. Yes. Yeah, a yep. spray bottle would be great. Good thinking. All right. Well, you know what? I am sure that uh, Cody has done a fabulous job, but we won't know and you won't know until next week. I just want to thank Cody Farrow for, for joining me, and um, we will unveil uh, these, this new sustainable look next week on the Arlington Weekly News. Back to you gentlemen in the studio. Thanks. Yeah. And we want to thank our own Miriam for that interview with Cody Farrow. And this is a two-part series yep. where today we got to see the interesting information on green hair products. But next week we get to see uh, how her hair turns out, which I think will be really interesting and wonderful. And we'll talk more about the you hair mean products. mean you're going to color her hair green? With green sustainable products, oh. we heard. Oh. Yep. And maybe the hair will be green. And I'm then next sure. week, we'll like see. you said, part two. Part two. Well, that does it for the Arlington Weekly News. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>